Well, Tim, with loyalty programs, they can be amazing when we get it right, but they can also be terrible when we get it wrong. What does it take to make a robust loyalty program? I mean, that's a very good question. I think the, the principal thing is actually the, the thing, the piece of advice I would give to anything in business, which is what we call following the golden rule, and that's treating people the way they'd like to be treated. And if your program recognizes them appropriately and rewards them appropriately, and you make it clear to them how you are using their data to make their life better, to create more value for them, then I think people really support these programs and like them. And across the APAC region, what are some really exciting loyalty trends that you're currently seeing? Well, Amazon are here now and they're doing well and clearly that puts more pressure I think on all businesses to improve their digital component and digital capability so that's interesting I think member pricing is interesting I think subscriptions are interesting but we mustn't forget that just because people have started doing personalization there's a lot to, there's a very very beautiful boat there look at that um, just because people have that through him, didn't it? Just because people are starting to do personalization doesn't mean it's done. I think there's a lot of work to do and clearly with new data analytics, with new AI based analytics, a lot of work to do on um, improving your data analytics and improving the personalization that comes out as a result of the data analytics. And of course, that's particularly where Eagle Eye helps in terms of being able to get the individual messages through. And of course, Eagle Eye is growing across the APAC region, which is so exciting. Um, what are you looking forward to in the year ahead? Well, winning new business. <laughs> um, but I, I think, uh, you know, when I was working for a retailer, we had an incredibly good run based around marketing. And I think that marketing can really create value for consumers and therefore creates value for businesses. And like every other walk of life, marketing is becoming a thing where technology and marketing are inseparable. You know, you can't be good at tech, you can't, you've got to merge the two things together. And that's what we bring to the party. And so I'm hopeful that what we will do is we will generally be improving the quality of marketing, largely through by, by enabling people to do more personalized marketing. And that, I think, is the big difference. Make it relevant to me because it's designed for me. You understand my life and you give me things that I want and enjoy. Absolutely. And I think that resonates not just in APAC, but across the world universally. Correct. No, completely. Yes. Completely. And, um, you know, we've got a great team down here. Uh, we're starting to make inroads in Asia. We're doing the same thing in Europe. We're doing the same thing in the US. I mean, it's a common theme. Uh, many of the issues that the retailers face are common, which is physical retailers have got to bring to bear the digital components to create a complete experience for consumers. And, you know, that's how we can help them. Great. Thanks so much, Tim, and wishing you all the best for the year ahead. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Thanks very much.